Good evening. I hope everyone's doing all right. Thought I'd do something a little bit different tonight. <clears throat> I thought I would do a video on um, movies that are out of print or ones that people just ask me about all the time. Um, you know, are they available or, you know, would I sell my copy or whatever? So I'm going to pick ones that I, I think are rare and I'm going to delve into the collection. Not going to be a lot. I'm going to you know, because I'm pretty much doing this off the cuff, so um, doing it off the top of my head, it, 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 it was a, it's been a conversation that's come up um, a few times. Um, so I'm going to pick something out the old uh, Vinegar Syndrome archive. I'm going to go up to here to see if I can do these without knocking everything down uh, and all that. And I'm going to pick out. Ah, uh, where is it? There it is. It's because I ain't got my glasses on. This one, this is quite a rarity um, that was reissued. Um, I've actually got the reissue as well. But yeah, it was Savage Water and Death by uh, Invitation. Um, it was, like I said, Death by Invitation was reissued with something else. I've got it up there. But yeah, Savage Water, that was the one that, that caused the thing. I know they, they put it out, obviously. Um, one's slipped through. I think they they sold them on their table at festivals. Um, I I got mine off off a buyer. Very you know relatively cheap, all things considered. Um, consider it as a DVD, but yeah, it was one of the early ones. Uh, and yeah, I don't see these a lot. Um, to be honest, um, I quite like Savage Water. I know I know it gets a you know people say that it's boring and everything, but I I I kind of dig it. You know, it's got um, commentary by um the guys in the uk i can't think what they're called hysteria lives always entertaining to hear those guys um and yeah it's just one that i don't see about so yeah i'm gonna add savage walter to my first out of print um movies and i see if i can show you the reissue as well which i've got uh, which is this one that's the reissue um so yeah very similar the 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 reissue's got the blue death by invitation and dungeon of harrow whereas the the first edition's pink so that's all it is a little bit of a different change so that's my my first uh, uh out of print shall we say uh, i'm gonna pick another one that was a little bit later on where was it down here somewhere i know where it is it's behind it's behind all of these lovely box sets you know uh, rudy ray moore uh but yeah i'm gonna pick these couple um no not that one <laughs> oh dear the executioner part two with frozen scream on blu-ray yeah one that went out of print really quickly i know it's on dvd yes i do know that um uh, but yeah the blu-ray this this fetches silly amounts online um i've seen a couple of heavy hitters go to be honest one of my tri prized possessions i must admit i do love the executioner part two and i do i like frozen scream as well but yeah blu-ray of that that was uh it's, it's pretty rare and also this one you don't really see this murderous intent and fright house um this was limited i think it's numbered somewhere as well yeah that's it's numbered there so it was like very very low numbers on these sorry about the glare i'm kind of doing this off off the top of my head um going to get away from vinegar syndrome i could do vinegar syndrome all day if I, i'll be honest with you but i'm going to obviously show you the collection at a later date um but yeah another company i'm gonna have to get on the floor here jeez oh another another one that come out and uh i i really like this movie and it's a thing let me tell you the quality of this blu-ray is absolutely outstanding that's ms45 one of the first films we show that the good the bad the unseen it's an alamo draft house disc um they've done a few um but yeah this was 
one of the first ones it's absolutely amazing might even be the first one i can't even remember to be on it to be fair i know it's probably numbered somewhere along the line but yeah they've done a few discs i think i didn't get them all i must admit um because some of the titles uh i had or didn't want um uh, but yeah ms45 is one of the good ones um i'll show you the ones that i have got of theirs um Oh, nearly dropped them all then, Jesus. They nearly become non-rarities. Uh, why don't you play in hell? I know you still see this one about. Um, I think Diabolic's got some of them. Um, personal favourite, this one, uh, Waking Fright. We actually showed this uh, at one of our Osploitations. I think it was Osploitation Night um, number two. And a cracking movie. Uh, you get like a digital file with this one as well. Uh, when I bought it. Um, it was released in the UK. The UK disc has actually gone out of print as well. And I think this has as well. I'm pretty certain that Vinegar Syndrome is going to pick this up at some stage and do a 4K. Really, it's just it's just a great movie. Donald Pleasance is in it. It's in Setting the Outback. Uh, it's just amazing. The Visitor, which was released on um, Arrow. And uh, yeah, I mean, this edition is pretty cool totally bonkers movie though i mean it's like you know aliens and birds attacking people it's just it's just madness i love the madness that's that's what i like um obviously this one got a reissue uh on vinegar syndrome which i've also got it's, it's over there this is the original um it's got uh artwork by what's his name the dude the dude <laughs> UK artist, but yeah, this is the Draft House release, and I've got a soundtrack with this, I've got a t shirt, and all stuff like that. So, yeah, it's another lot of releases that you know pretty much have gone out of print, uh, and then you know, a couple of them are back in print, obviously, with different company. Um, I'm trying to think what else, why you don't really see this. I know I've pointed this out in, in, in other releases, but this sold out pretty quick. The the extended director's cut of uh, Once Upon a Time in America, it pretty much went out of print um, straight away. Uh, let's have a look around the den, see what uh, see what else. Obviously, of course, a lot of Arrow titles go out of print pretty quickly. Um, <clears throat> Combat Shock, this was one that pretty much sold out. Um, you know, on its first run, which was the, the Severin issue, it's got the signature. You get a book with this. The book is, is actually on, 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 on my bookshelf. Um, you get a book with Buddy Giovanazzo. I mean, I suppose you could say there's something weird titles because, you know, Mike Franey passed away. So you got all the something weird titles. I'm going to do a look at them at some stage. And, uh, yeah, I mean, box sets that, that you know... That, like I said, some of the Vinegar Syndrome box sets have gone out of, out of print pretty quickly. Um, this was a good company. You don't see many of these hanging around, to be honest. Um, Panic House. It was the Pinky Violence Collection. Great set. If you like your Girl Boss movies, stuff like that. It's, I'm trying to do this one-handed, but there's, there's, there's an array of discs in here full of information and nudity as you can tell <laughs> oh geez but yeah panic house i've got a load of um some of their discs in in the other room and stuff but yeah just a few out of print um discs i might do other volumes if if people are interested in this but the next time I'll, i won't do it off the cuff you know but i just wanted to come in here uh, and take a look at some of the movies that i think are out of print anyway that's it I hope everyone's doing all right. It's Tuesday, the 6th here. I hope everyone's doing good. And uh, yeah, I might look on, might do a, uh, a look at companies that don't exist anymore. That's another one that I've got going on in my head. Anyway, take care and I'll catch you all on the other side. All right, see you later.